everyone. This is part two of our San Diego assignment. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> okay, let's watch. Hi, I'm David. And I'm Rachel. And we are the Traveling Glossers. I am a travel nurse and can work anywhere in the United States. And I'm an online English teacher and I can work anywhere in the world. We have been traveling since September 2016. Since the day we got married. We went on some longer road trips from San Diego. We visited Joshua Tree National Park, which was really cool. We really recommend this park. We went multiple times. There were tons of different trails that you could do, so every time you could do a different thing. I liked those little tiny cactus. <laughs> yeah, the Chula Cactus Garden was pretty amazing. They were just so unique. The way they were like shaped, I loved it. It was so cute. Yeah, and then the cactus that the park is named after, well, I'm not really sure if it's a cactus, and the name they call the tree. The Joshua tree is what the park's named after. They're really neat. Yeah, and those as well. are just throughout the park. Yeah, they're all over the place. They're all over, and you can just stop, take pictures when you're driving. It was really cool. We also loved going on this hike to the oasis. There were several oasises <laughs> in the park. But there was a specific one called the 49 Palms Oasis. That was really beautiful. We had gorgeous views the whole way and you're walking for miles through just mountain <laughs> desert. And it's hot. So bring water, because yeah. it was hot. And then all of a sudden you see in the distance this oasis with palm trees. <laughs> Apparently 49 palm trees. And they are really cool. The rock behind the palm trees is really cool. So you have these palm trees in the middle of nowhere, and then in the distance there's like this rock. It just it's a really neat scenery. I just yeah. loved it. Yeah, Joshua Tree, looking back at pictures, I really liked the rocks, and I know you like the rocks yeah, I love as well, them. but it also had like really awesome views. Desert wow. views and then awesome other views. Yeah, I think I forgot how much I enjoyed that park. Me too, until we were going back through the going pictures. Going back through these, these pictures. So definitely recommend that. It's a little bit of a drive. I think it took us like two and a half hours to get there from San Diego, but totally worth it. For sure. Another place that we went was Palm Springs. They have a tram that takes you to the top of the San Jacinto Mountain. It was awesome. You are just going up this gondola kind of thing, but it's, it is rotating though, and it holds like 50 people. But if you get sick like me, you don't want to turn. You just stand <laughs> in the very center by the guy. I totally forgot you did that. It's so fun. Yeah, because I didn't want to throw up. Yeah, but it was really cool. And uh, once you get to the top, you can do hiking. There's a restaurant up yeah. there. And the um, views are just beautiful. We stayed until dark. And one thing that stuck out to me when looking back at these pictures is you go from the desert of Palm Springs to being at the top of this mountain and there's pine trees. Yeah, it was And neat. it's kind of like going to Northern California again. It was so really cool. So it was really cool. And it even can snow up there too. Yeah, so. remember? It was really cold. So earlier that day we had been in Joshua Tree and we were really hot, like really hot. Well, we didn't have any coats. We had very thin, maybe sweatshirts, but I remember <laughs> it was so cold. Remember that? Yes. Yeah. We weren't dressed appropriately. It's what they say is true. The desert really gets cold at night. to take a road trip because it was close to 90 degrees. We went to LA. We headed north toward Los Angeles and we made some stops. 
we first stopped at Dana Point, which had a beautiful view of this harbor. It was really cool with all these boats, and it also had a view, beautiful view of the ocean. And we also stopped in Laguna Beach. Yeah, because you know, you gotta go there, <laughs> you know? <laughs> you can't go all the way to LA and not go to Laguna Beach. In particular, there was a Thousand Steps beach, and it's called a Thousand Steps because you had to take We took a thousand steps! To get down to it. Just kidding, it wasn't really a thousand. But it was a lot. <laughs> Going a lot. down's not a problem. You, you go down and you're looking at this beautiful beach, and we jumped in the water. But then, when it's time to leave, you gotta climb back up those those thousands of steps. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that was really neat. But my favorite part of the day was Huntington Beach. I loved that beach. We had so much fun rollerblading there. It was Just awesome. a very nice boardwalk with people rollerblading and riding bikes. Really cool. And there was also a really nice pier and we rollerbladed on that as well. That was fun. We ate dinner there. I very much liked Huntington Beach. While we were in San Diego, we also visited Disneyland because you cannot be that close to Disneyland and not visit it. Our friends from San Jose drove down and met us at Disneyland. It was very nice. Yeah, Victoria and Justin. It was really fun and they had been before but it was our first time so they just showed us around, showed us all their favorite spots. It was approaching Christmas time so there was Christmas lights all over the place. Um, Which the, was awesome. The castle, it was beautiful. beautiful. It was lit up with Christmas lights and also that famous ride, It's a Small World was redesigned with Christmas throughout. So it was it was really cool, cool as well. We decided to go on the log ride. We got so wet. Like, it was warm during the day. <laughs> but then I got really, really cold after that because the it was right before the got sunset. Got down to 50. Yeah, got down to and 50 we were soaking night. wet. I'll never do that again. <laughs> yeah, and they had, had a very nice fireworks display at the end of the night. My sister came to visit us and we went to Universal Studios. My sister was super excited for the Harry Potter world. Well, we had never seen the movies before. So we watched all the movies <laughs> in maybe two weeks. It was really fun. We got really, really, really into the movies and we really, really were excited. Yeah, we get there and we go straight to Harry Potter World, which was really smart because it was empty. But little fact about me is I don't do well on the rides that spin. So we get there and I'm like, hey, does this ride spin? And the guy's like, oh no, it goes five miles per hour. I was like, oh, I can handle that. So we're going through the line and there's no line. So we get straight to the ride within like five minutes. And I'm like, still a little bit worried. So I asked one more person, like, does this spin or do anything? And and they're like, oh no, it doesn't spin. Well, guess what, you guys? It spin. <laughs> it was the worst ride of my life. For me, for, for other people, probably the best ride of your life. I got in the ride, they strapped me in. I'm like, I'm so screwed. Because the soon as you get in, they flip you on your back. And I was like, this is gonna be a nightmare for me. Yeah, it was like everyone's was like sitting in this like there's like six people here and this thing was just like moving like this and you had a screen in front of you and uh, uh, I just I felt so bad for her. Yeah, it was like I, a 3D you know, I knew, thing. I know what so, she goes through. And, so I closed my eyes so I wouldn't see the motion but I could still feel it and all I could feel was this hot air like blowing on me. <laughs> and so at the she end- She had her eyes closed, but that was actually a dragon uh, breathing hot air on us. <laughs> yeah, there, so then we get off the ride, I'm like deadly sick. I did not go on another ride the rest of the day. <laughs> but Universal is a great place. They have more than just rides. They have like shows that were really cool. We went to a reenactment of a scene from the movie Waterworld, 
with Kevin Costner, she hadn't even seen the movie before and she still enjoyed it. Yeah, and then afterwards I saw the movie and I was like, this is awesome! <laughs> yeah, it was, it was cool. Another place we went to was Hollywood. Yeah, saw all these famous people. It was awesome. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we did walk down the Walk of Fame. Yeah. And we saw all the stars for all the famous people. <laughs> that was that pretty was cool. That was fun. Yeah, we took pictures by the stars of our favorite people. And I really enjoyed like seeing the Hollywood sign because you just see that in so many movies and such like an iconic feature, you know? There's also a bunch of uh, hiking trails like around the Hollywood sign too. Uh, I believe it's Griffith Park. And there was the Griffith Park Observatory there as well. We didn't go, but got a couple pictures of that. <laughs> yeah, but we enjoyed hiking around. That was fun. We also visited Venice Beach, which was really cool. Venice Beach had a wonderful boardwalk because it, it was right on the sand, wasn't it? Yeah. Parts of it. And I just feel like the actual Venice Beach was huge. Like the beach was very big and very white. And the boardwalk, I think was the longest one. We had a lot of fun rollerblading there as well. Yeah, we loved it. There was restaurants around there you could eat at and get ice cream. We're always up for some ice cream. Yeah, I, and talking about this, it seems like every beach really had a boardwalk. Yeah. That's what makes California unique is the boardwalks, I think. The reason we went to Hollywood was because we wanted to be on The Price is Right. And Dave, did we make it? Should we tell them? No, let's let them wait until next video. Okay, so stay tuned. See what happened. So that's all that we have to show for San Diego, California. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And thumbs up. Have a great day. Bye-bye.